Hello, welcome back. I'm going to be playtesting this game called Engineer to Purpose today. The developer Confidence Roll Games reached out to me and offered me a playtest key so that I could try it. And it sounded fun, so I thought I'd give it a shot. The thing that appealed to me is that this game is like a tower defense, which uh, I always enjoy those. And it's got a lot of customization of the towers. You can like mix and match parts, I believe. And also I found it interesting they mentioned the game is narrative driven. I feel like I don't really see too many tower defense games that focus on the narrative, uh, if they have one at all. But it sounded cool, so I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. I, uh, I put a link to their Steam page. Uh, if the game looks interesting, you should definitely check it out and wishlist it. I'm sure they would appreciate that. And yeah, let's get started. like to play the tutorial yes Ugh, where am i why can't i move father mother where are you the child is awake the process was successful the attachment was much more violent than i had envisioned did you do something to me why are you ignoring me i'm sorry honey we're not ignoring you we're just having an adult conversation we must hurry the child needs to interface with the field right away now, now, these things can't be rushed. Give us a moment, Father. We need to do a quick lesson. Honey, it may take some time to get used to your new interfaces. Take a moment to explore your expanded senses of the world we have brought you to. Rotate the camera with the right, with right clicking and dragging. Okay. Zoom. And move by left clicking. Or WSD. I definitely prefer WSD. Uh, begin creating your tower now by selecting design. Okay. Click on the attack slot. These are the available modifiers for this specific tower. So power, which it looks like it increases damage. Tempo, reduces firing delay. And heuristics, more damage per kill up to some cap. Okay. Each type of modifier enhances your tower in a different way. Adding modifiers use up a, a tower's points. And add modifiers now until there are no points remaining. I assume these are the points. So I uh, probably want to get this, and uh, can you continue to increase it? Let's see. Uh, maybe some base damage, and I'll just get one of each. I mean, I assume eventually, you know, I'll be able to decide based on what's going on in the level. Name and save your tower to lock in your choices. Um, call this one Hello World. Our hello world safe. So now I will vote. Okay, and yeah, it's got a range indicator. I need to show you something. Look over here. Oh, hello, some kind of portal. This is where your targets will come from. They will move along the path. You can review their route at any time by hovering over the spawner. They will try to reach the machine, but you must stop them. Enough damage and the machine will fail, likely killing you in the process. Well, that's not good. Whenever you feel ready, you may call them. Remember that I will stay with you and support you through this. Okay. Uh, whenever you're ready, start spawning by clicking the button on the top of the spawning key. Spawning key? Oh, okay. What are these things? Primary detector. Terrestrial basic avatar. A terrestrial avatar with average movement and health. The most common avatar available. So it's like a walking skull spider thing. Health 6 out of 6. Okay, this is a bunch of stats. And then I guess these are all the waves that are coming. Can I build more towers? Where's my money? No, that's a HP. Oh, I see this. Is The game looks nice. I like the sci-fi aesthetic. Here come some more little spider faces. Let's speed up the game. Oh, looks like every time you kill something, it's like absorbing its energy. Makes sense. So yeah, I mean, this is the tutorial, which, as we'd expect, is going to be pretty easy. When the tower is going, that means you can afford to upgrade it. To upgrade this tower, you can find available upgrades by selecting it. Please upgrades. Damage and recharge. 
Terrestrial Bulk Avatar. A solidly built terrestrial avatar with high health and reduced speed. Deals additional damage on him. Oh, so they can actually attack you. This one's like hopping. <laughs> it looks a little silly on the higher speed, but I'm sure on the normal speed it would look very serious. Can I build another one? Okay. Yeah, what upgrades can I get here? Oh, I did it! The machine has collected enough data to fabricate a new weapon design. Nice. This will hurt, but only for a moment. Be brave. Ah, it burns! Well done, honey. Now we need to move on to the next phase of the process. Booting the program now. All complete. This is the extractor, a place where new components can be discovered. Okay. This area indicates how many stars you currently have and can use for unlocking new components. Okay, that's probably based on how well you do on the level, or you just collect them. This area holds all of the components that you can use for your tower designs. Some are available now, some can be unlocked using your stars, and others are currently unavailable. This section contains component designs that you will unlock for free as you make progress. The laser is now available. Click it now to extract it. The laser fires a beam of energy. Oh. Okay. Uh, now that it has been extracted, this component will always be available. You will want to return here over time. It will be difficult to make progress without gaining access to new components. All right, sounds good. There's a bunch of other stuff. And uh, what does this laser do? It deals more damage until it's next to recharge. Okay. Vision, options, navigation. Nice, so there's a bunch of levels for us to try, and we're on level two now. Think about how often each enemy will pass your towers. Okay. Oh, add tower. Oh, I see. You can design your towers and then um, use that. Those are the ones that you like take into battle with you. Can I make new ones? I don't think so. There must be like a limit on the number of blueprints for now. Add tower? Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. We'll come back to that, I'm sure, later. surreal. I feel like there's a hole in my mind. Can I stop, please? Field stable, within optimal projections. We can proceed with confidence. Child, you've done well. Mother, I leave the next stage to you. Leaves. Always so methodical. Never any time for softness. How are you feeling, honey? We anticipate that the procedure would be uncomfortable. Why are you hurting me? You taught me we were too advanced for torture. This is not torture. We are do- You'll understand in time. Just try to move past the pain, honey. For now, focus. You can now design and use up to six slots for towers. Okay, so they gave me a bunch of new ones. Once you start spawning, you can now unload from your inventory. Click design and start creating a new tower now. Okay. Um, so, choosing all three of the required components. Okay. So I have two weapons. Let's try out that new laser. Oh, and then that influences the cost as well. Generator. The detector. I see. So this is like how it figures out what to target. And you can change like how it targets things. Manual targeting tool. Okay. And then you can add some modifiers that we already talked about. So I probably want to increase the firing duration. This is like a laser beam, I would guess. I like how the you can see the tower actually changes when you modify it. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow, this game must have a lot of models in it if it's uh, got like modifications for every upgrade on the tower. That's super cool though. Um, so yeah, let's decrease this. I want probably some tempo and I want some stability. And we'll call this the uh, I don't know big P. Death beam. Excellent. Big pointy death beam and hello world will protect me. This is the capacitor. It will store up energy charges. The charges of energy can be released by spawning a wave early. You can always spawn waves early, but you will only gain energy when you have charges remaining when you spawn. Make sure to use the capacitor carefully. Dealing with the extra enemies may be difficult. So. 
Oh, it gives you extra energy, and the energy is what I use to build towers, right? Okay, so you get like some extra currency for um, sending things early. So what does this do? This is the path that they're taking. Uh, it looks like they basically go all the way around and then all the way back around several times. So where would be the best place for some towers? I feel like, well, the range on this one is not particularly long, though. Hmm. So it looks like it can only reach one space out. If that's the case, then I should just put it where most of the spaces are. Uh, well, where there's just like lots of tiles over it, right? Put two of these. And can I upgrade this as well? No. Okay, uh, let's start. I'm go scuttling along. I think I should be able to take them out. I think it's firing at them. They don't heal, right? The color faded. If they're healing, that's not great for me. Speed avatar. It's super fast. Even it has less health. Oh, it's really fast. Uh, can I go to another tower? Yes. Okay. It doesn't look like they heal because they died in one hand. Okay. Let's uh, send another way early because the towers aren't firing 100% uh, of the time, so it's fine to do that. Maybe we can upgrade this one. I should build one of my Elise Reeves. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think it's through here. There's quite a lot of enemies, actually. I guess this is how long it lasts for. It like doubles its firing duration. It's pretty good. This one more than doubles its damage though. I guess if I want to deal more damage to a tanky target, this is better because it'll do its damage quicker. And uh, the tanky boys. I like how they hop around. <laughs> kind of this is a little funny. It reminds me a lot of uh, the animals we had on our farm that would just like pop around all over the place. I hope we can get through. Uh oh, I'm not through. Alright, let's pause for a second. Add some more towers. Don't want to let things start leaking. Okay, and that's all I can build for now. So these big tanky ones are definitely helping the little ones get by. I want to attack more quickly to deal with these little guys that are going to try to run by. Okay, so I should be nice if I could upgrade this again, but it's just so expensive now. There's another laser beam here. Okay, so well, I did let something go through there, which is unfortunate, but... Fried by the way to move. Use the capacitor five times. Interesting. No damage taken. All complete. Okay, so this is how you get the currency to get um, upgrades in that shop that they showed us. What was that? Is that a simulator? What is this? This space is virtual. Oh, it's where you can test out your towers. That's pretty cool. Creating a new tower design. Okay. Uh, I don't really think I can make anything new though. Like I can swap around some, like, yeah, I don't actually think I can make anything new, right? But I don't have any modify or any components that I've unlocked. So, uh, that's fine. I don't think we need to be here at the moment, so let's go back. Um, 
Oh, it wants me to go to the simulator though. Can I go unlock a new component? There we go. So what is this? This upgrades the laser. It also becomes a lot more expensive. This adds additional projectiles. That's pretty good. Um, this is like new components for the other pieces. Target units with or without specific effects. Oh, it's like when you upgrade it, you can be more specific in how you tell your towers to attack things. That's cool that it's like an upgrade in this game. Normally, I feel like uh, in other games, you have like a few options, but I wonder how advanced this game is. It's quite a lot of options, actually. Okay. Generator provides modifier points. Okay, so that's what determines how you can upgrade it. Um, well, I would like to get this. Get that extra projectile seems pretty good. Let's go back. Okay, so now we can actually make something different, right? I really like that each like component has its own model so you can you know just make cool looking towers that are different based on what they do. Uh, right. Yeah, I want this additional projectile that adds a second barrel. Nice. Makes sense. Oh I can fire three projectiles? Oh. Wow, that seems really strong. Can I just do that again? Okay. Yeah, that would be too strong. So let's do this. Oh, it wants me to use this in order. Open select waves to proceed. Oh, I see. You're basically just like running the waves from previous levels through here. To use towers created here, you'll have to save them for the <coughs> Fire's pretty slow, though. This is not ideal, to be honest. Maybe I can increase its fire rate a little bit. Uh, what do I do? I need to change it to modifiers, right? So, I'm going to pause this. just reset it. <coughs> yeah, there we go. I would like to fire quicker. And, uh, I'll just do it. Yeah, so this is firing a lot faster. So I want to make sure it can defeat these big guys before they get out of range. Yeah, I mean, it definitely can. Although, it may have ramped up. Yeah, it's already been ramping up. So that would definitely um, make it seem like it's doing a little better than it actually would in a new level. But I need this. Is this too greedy? I feel like I always go for the like ultra greedy option. Like, uh, let's think about it. Its damage is 7.5, right? So if I do this, it will ramp up to 10.8 eventually. But if I add another weapon, like if I add an extra projectile, it's just doing an extra 7.5 damage, right? So. I feel like this is just better than this. Unless this like goes up even more. So if you put four points into it. Wait, why am I able to put four points into this? Oh I see, this one's just a lot more expensive. So if I do this, I'm doing uh, 22 and a half damage per set of bullets fired. If I do this, and it's ramped up all the way, then I'm doing, what is that, 12, 13.2, I'm doing 20.7 damage, 
so I think this one is just better. Because it's like doing the damage right off the bat and it doesn't have to scale up. Uh, yeah. At least that's what I think based on what my understanding is. Maybe I'm understanding it incorrectly, but uh, it's pretty cool. I like that you can test things out here. Um, so what do we call this one? The triple... Oh, a little bit of a lag there on my end. Uh, the triple P shooter. Okay. Saved. Tower with its name already exists. Oh, it's saved. Okay, let's go back. So, next level. Oh, wait, I didn't select the tower. Whoopsie. Uh, maybe it'll let me change it here, though. This ache, this hole inside me. I can't feel it right. I can't feel it right. It's just edges and echoes and pain. I hate this. Your readings are good. Everything is stable. So no need to worry about the pain, honey. It will pass. No, no more of this. Stop this machine, please. I'm sorry, honey. If it could work any other way, you will have to endure. Stopping it would be worse than continuing. I can't feel angry. It feels like I'm missing a limb, a phantom pain in my brain. I promise, keep absorbing energy and you will feel better, honey. Come, try this. Dang, these guys are messed up. This poor kid, I guess, is like uh, being used as a scientific experiment by um, their parents. I want that one. Okay, so I, I got the new gun. And, uh, yeah, so, interesting. this says 1.75 damage. The thing I'm not sure of is if the damage on this takes into account the triple projectiles already. I don't think so, because when I added more of them, it didn't go up. But, let's see, where would this be then? So this has pretty good coverage of the corner. This one definitely has the most the benefits the most, so let's get that there, and uh, we'll just start with that, maybe that will be enough for now. So let's see what happens, hopefully it is able to fire, yeah, nice, it's able to barely reach right across there, so it's actually getting quite a lot of extra shooting time. And I might as well just upgrade this, right? Oh! My goodness, everything's like a walking head. <laughs> a small, efficient terrestrial avatar with minimal health, which often appears in large numbers. Scuttle along. I should probably build a uh, like one of these. Uh, this one's not as efficient as the first one, just because it doesn't have that extra row there that I'm going to be able to hit it. But uh, I do need to build something or it'll get through. So I can take those out in my like, three shots. And I think I might need another tower for these little guys. We'll see. Yeah, I think I do. I want to start upgrading this as well. So I'll probably save up for that. So can we get through? Nope. Upgrade. Wow, the damage increase on this is pretty crazy. Like, there's more than double damage. I'd also like to upgrade the damage on this. How much else do those other ones have? 56. But where are the tiny little guys? I'll have to check when they come by again. Because I want to make sure I can one shot the little itty bitty ones so that they're not, like, going to get past this tower if they don't get taken out earlier. It's pretty powerful now, though. And more damage. It's not more damage. It's more efficient to upgrade this, but then it's going to be doing like a lot of overkill. Here they are. So these guys have 22 HP, which is definitely more than I can deal. So let's upgrade this one. Uh oh. Check it out. Yeah, it's not enough to one shot them, so a bunch of them are definitely gonna get through it. Okay. I guess I can just add a 
And I think once I unlock more components, I can probably spend a little more time figuring out like what the best combination of everything is. Uh, but for now, I'm mostly just interested in being like, oh, what's that? Little, little fireball thing. Okay. So yeah, if I want to unlock more things, then I need to go back and uh, do better on the levels, but. I'm getting a bunch of free upgrades just by playing the levels, so I think it's good to just start with that. So, let's see. Primary Bomber. Launches Arcing Explosives. Okay, so this does AoE damage, which would be very good against those little guys that I was just uh, running into. And I do want to make a tower that uses that. Damage. We'll cap two seconds. Let's see. How do I edit this? I guess I can just throw it away and make a new one. Or wait, I do that in the uh, simulator, right? Yeah, so I want to use the new lobbing thing. Add the energy. This. So this is doing 20 damage per second, so that's not quite enough to one-shot those little guys, so I think I need to do this, so that way they get one shot. And then I want to increase the radius so that I hopefully hit more of them at once. So let's try it. I think I was on stage 3, and I want to test it on them. Okay. So... See, perfect. So now those guys get one shot. This tower takes a long time to fire though, uh, but that's okay because its main goal is just to take out those little ones. And I kind of want to make sure I target the... I see this is like targeting all these monsters or regular ones. Okay, so right now I don't have an upgrade that lets me tell it like to target the thing with the lowest health or whatever. Um, but, you know, eventually we'll get that in this tower we can set up specifically to clear those little enemies. Um, little Crawler Blaster. This guy, he exists to beat up the little crawly dudes. So, let's go to the next level. Uh, there's a new enemy in this. <clears throat> terrestrial bulk avatar. Are those just the the hoppy boys, the little little jumpy ones? Initializing. Brother arrives. Oh, I have a brother now. Did we miss much? I so hate to miss any major events. Sister, don't be an insensitive ass. How are you, little one? Are you feeling well? Sister, brother, help me. This hurts so bad, and mother and father won't stop it. They won't even tell me what I did wrong. Honey, no, this isn't a punishment. Please, you have to stay calm. You and father have chosen not to explain anything? By my calculations, it's a mistake. You're going to change the plan then, unilaterally? Don't you dare. This is too delicate. Too impor important for you to just... Anyway, worry not, little one. We're here with you now. We will get you through this together. What? You won't help me? What is happening? Why are you all doing this to me? Okay, little one, tell you what. Get through this next integration and I'll explain things, okay? Fine, but you better not be lying. I can't watch this. I'm leaving. Dang. The faces that the, I guess, uh, parents and stuff have kind of look like the, the monster heads as well. I wonder if there's any that's relevant in any way. But, uh, looks like they just go in a big circle here. Um, it'd be nice if I had towers with, like, bigger range, so that way... Wait, where's the other one? My, my little crawler blaster. So there's a little crawly wave, kind of, later on. I think it, since it's just normal waves for now. Uh, can just start with this. Oh, man. The thing is that this only hits this corner. 
Is there any like tight spots I can benefit from? Not really. I think this and this are probably the best spots for now. I'll put it at down early so that way I know how things are going before we get too far. So let's start with that and see what happens. Okay, we're getting one shot. Perfect. Uh, let's see if we can just send another wave. Oh, and now there's those little guys which might get through. Okay, that's perfect. I think I want to add this little crawly blaster one here. Uh, yeah, those guys will get through otherwise. Oh, and one of them did get through. So, let's put a few in here. Just to take out that little one that got through. Uh, and this is, uh, it doesn't need to weaken these big ones a lot, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. But yeah, this big cannon thing is Bean. I'm not really sure like what the beans are that good at right now. I think the way they work is that they can like continuously attack while this thing is full, or while it's not empty rather. So like the downside to a lot of like towers, right, is like this one for example. It takes it only fires when it's completely full, and so if something like runs through its range, then it won't hit them, right? So that's why a lot of these enemies are like P. So, yeah, this one, like, it fires continuously, and that's really good. Upgrade it. I do want to upgrade this as well. This needs to do more damage. Like, the amount of damage you get from uh, upgrading them is a lot more than you would get from building a second tower. It's more than double, right? So better to upgrade than it is to, uh, than it is to uh, build a second tower. And this one will be doing quite a bit of overkill. I think I am better off just upgrading the laser. So this one will fry all the like little things. I'm curious what these little fire things are. There's like little fires floating around. Um, wait, I think this is... Oh, one of them's up here. I did not see that one. <laughs> uh, looks like it might get through all the way. That's less wave, right? So I can sell this and use it to buy more uh, these guns here. And try to stop them. Well, uh, I do like that big cannon I made. That one did a really good job of clearing those little, little, little crawly dudes. Targeting radius before building. Yep. So, can I get anything new? Level five. All right. So let's just play through the next one. <clears throat> so I did like the laser beam. Now that I understood what it does. Um, nope. Wonderful, your performance is far beyond what I had estimated. My projections were all off. Little one, you are going to save us all. Don't you think it's too early for this? They need more time to acclimate. That's the old math, mother. The data from this latest integration suggests we can accelerate the program. I suggest disclosure. No, not yet. Brother, you promised to explain. It's too soon, brother. Please, not yet. I will miss you. Little one, I'm sorry. I guess I can't say much now. I will miss you. What does that mean? That was a little strange. Uh, but I will tell you that there is a purpose to this. You are going to do great things. I was just helping anyone. What do you mean? You promise. The next phase begins. Be ready, little one. Like I have a choice. Am I on the tower? Like, can I see myself in here? No? Okay. I wasn't sure. Um, so, let's see. I like these, like, levels. They look very psychedelic, like all glowing crystals and like these faces. Uh, what do we got going on here? So they're going to go around in a circle and then come down and go around in a circle again. 
uh, and then do that another time. Yeah, so they go, they go like, basically what it's doing is they're going down, around, down. So, um, that means that each of these squares here along the edges, you can count an enemy, you can count them as double, right? Because an enemy's gonna pass through them twice. Um, and these, an enemy will only pass through them once. So those are, um, you know, things to keep in mind. Uh, it's also, it also means that enemies are gonna like stack up because there's gonna be like two sets of them potentially running on the ring at the same time, all right, since they have to do one full lap. Um, and so I think the, the little blasting one would be really good, you know, either here or down here, because um, it'll fire on things that are hopefully overlapping on each other. Uh, these are obviously not as good because they only have things on one side. And these down here are also not as good because enemies only pass through it once. So, uh, I think it's fine just to open with this. Or maybe I should do this one. This one will be able to reach just a tiny bit farther. Um, but I don't know if I want to save that for the, for the blaster. Although that one has bigger range, so I can put that one on the second spot. So let's put a triple P shooter here. Look at that. I got got like a cool little spinning particle there. Yeah, it looks cool. So, put one of those down, and... Oh, wait, it's actually starting with a little tiny wave, so I do need at least one other weapon. Otherwise, they're definitely going to get through. So, let's put a laser beam somewhere. I'm sure my guns are pretty expensive. Put it here. Start with that, see what happens. Alright. Oh wow, the laser beam fried them. Huh. I did not realize it was so good at destroying those. So whenever this is full, you want to send a wave out early so that you get a bunch of extra money. So I guess in this game, since you get it can stack like this, I don't know if you get all the charges. Oh, what is this? A terrestrial exemplar with high health and regeneration. Ooh, that's not good. Deal additional damage on impact and yield more resources when destroyed. Okay. So things that regenerate are not good because obviously I have just two towers. So like the entire time it's like running around, it's gonna be healed. I also don't know if when I click this button, like if three of these are full, if the full, all three of them will get consumed. If that's the case, then I mean it makes most sense to wait until it's uh, completely full. Its regeneration is pretty low, so I think I'll be okay. I want to upgrade its uh, damage per second. Okay. That, that's why this big gun is so good, right? If you take out this little guy in one shot. Uh, Alright, let's try this. Yeah, it only it ate a one charge, not two. So. Uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna upgrade this. I need to walk faster with this place. I want more damage. Oh, that guy's a problem. That should help a lot. Uh, I might need to build another tower down there if these don't spread out enough. I think uh, I am going to be able to take care of all of them. Actually, that one I don't think I, I was able to deal with. And I'll, get through it. I'll build another one here just in case something tries to run through it. But... I mean, realistically, if it's one of these big guys, I'm not going to be able to push him off. That's already pretty weak. I'm going to upgrade this now. I didn't actually pay attention to how much damage the, uh... Or, sorry, how much HP these guys have. Oh, they have 400 HP. That's pretty crazy. 
Some of them are definitely good too. Do they have armor? I didn't actually check. No, they don't. They just have like HP. So I guess for those really big guys, you just need to want you just want to do as much like burst damage maybe as you possibly can. Unless there's some way to like stop them from regenerating. Oh, I have three stars. I can uh, upgrade something. So ramp. Oh, I see. So this laser beam must also do more damage the longer it's hitting one target. Which means it's actually really good against those super tanky guys that we're able to get through. Makes other towers stronger. Well, that's pretty good. Um, this makes it explode and release like two smaller bombs. Can I consider getting one of these? This lets you get an extra upgrade to your tower. This gives you an extra upgrade, and it makes it so you can target units with specific effects. Okay. I think I just want the upgraded laser so that I can take out those uh, super tanky like elite units. So let's go and uh, play with our little death beam, pointy death beam. Forget what I called it. What was it? The big pointy death beam. Uh, I want to upgrade it to the second level one. That makes it a lot more expensive, though. Hmm. Let's see if this makes a... Okay, so let's test the the regular laser first, right? And I believe what I had was... Uh, firing duration. Like two of these, one of those. Firing delay. This is how long it takes to recharge. I think firing duration must be good, right? Because it ramps up its damage over time. So let's try this. Uh, and let's pick the big guys that we saw. Charge here. Oh, that was a little unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the damage does ramp up, but it's not taking enough power. So let's see what happens when I switch to the bigger one. To add the modifiers. So more duration and like that's some ramp levels maybe. Oh, it's so cool how the gun changes every time. Uh, reduce the firing delay. And then do this. Uh, I don't know how often it ramps, unfortunately. That would be good to know. Seconds. This reduces three seconds from the firing time, so that's pretty good. See what happens once it finishes reloading. Hmm, I don't know. Don't really feel like that did what I wanted. The problem is it keeps switching targets too, which is unfortunate. I wish I could kind of like move this around. Yeah, I mean, it used like half its battery on one enemy, and that did not kill it, so... What would happen if I... Decrease the firing duration of it, and increase the damage? So that's like, more or less one of each upgrade. That 
did, that did worse, I think. So that was not good. Um, seems like the ramp levels are definitely where most of the damage comes from, I had to guess. It took out like half its HP with a full charge. Hmm. I'm not very impressed by the pointy laser beam, to be honest. I'll leave it like this for now. But yeah, I'm not very impressed by this one. I'll have to come back and play with it some more. I'm sure there's a way to make it like good at something specific. I just don't know what that is quite yet. Alright. So... Let's see what this level is. I hate this, brother. You said this is into integration. Can you tell me what that is at least? Integration is a process of incorporating parts of something into something else, little one. So what is getting integrated? What are these machines I'm destroying? The machines are your lifeblood now, little one. Without them, your machine could not function and the process would fail. This is why we cannot give you a choice about proceeding with these trials, honey. They must be done. But what are they? Are these things alive? Of course, the process wouldn't work otherwise, but worry not. They agreed to it themselves. They agreed? I'm killing people? Yes, little one. No, 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 no. Do not despair. You will understand. In doing so, you are fulfilling for them the biggest favor they could ask for. You must trust me. Trust us, Dag. Well, that's not good. Now, I'm starting the next phase. So these little face bugs are all people, I guess. That sucks. It's a little disturbing, but, you know, that definitely fits the vibe, so. <laughs> Look at this one, sort of face over there. Alright, so where do the enemies go? It looks like they go around the outer edge, up through the middle. They go through that loop. They go around the loop. Uh, pretty complicated. I think what's happening is so they go around the outer edge, they go around that way, go around this way. I'm not sure exactly which ones are going this way. Okay. Um, it looks like they pass through here multiple times though, so uh, I definitely want to put something this is probably... I think this is probably the best spot to put it in. Because it's going to be able to fire as they're going through the entire loop. And I think I saw that everything went through that loop, so... We'll start with that. Here they come. And I can follow them to see what actually happens here. So they go up, and to the right. Oh, they're not going to survive, but uh, I'll be able to see what happens later. I think I want one of these. Since everything goes around this way, this is a pretty good spot for it. I do not want it there, I want it to go here. Advanced Reconstructor Avatar. Supporter terrestrial avatar capable of repairing targets. Okay. So this thing heals stuff. That's not great. I need to make sure to take that one out. It's pretty small. It has a lot of HP though. It has 100 HP. I think I would rather have this fire more quickly than do more damage because I feel like... Well, I'm not sure. Like, one of the annoying things is when things get out of range, right? And then, even though, like, it does a lot of damage, it ends up not firing that last shot. So, we'll see. And I want to break this one. Okay. Oh, he's got out. 
looks like they go around and then around here. And then they go up around, around the other way, and then back down. So let's build another one. A lot of stuff is actually getting through, so I definitely should not do this properly. Second gun there. I don't have a lot of weight. I get those bonuses. Okay, I want to upgrade this. No more damage. Oh, I lost. Dang. Well, that's okay. We'll try it again. I uh, was definitely having a lot of stuff leak because of this tower here, not taking, really killing anything, I think. So, I think for this round, I probably want to, once again, put this here. And we'll just start with that. And I guess if you release it, like, just at the last second early there, you still get the bonus. So, that's probably worth doing. I didn't notice it, it like doesn't um, yeah like if I if I do it right before the red thing reaches the end it still gives me the bonus but you get the extra energy so one of these. oh I need to pay attention to this I'll slow it down a bit so I don't keep doing that once it gets uh, Okay. So yeah, that gave me a little bit of extra energy there. Do it again. Oh, okay. Wait, no, I didn't do that properly, did I? <laughs> oh well. I'm probably gonna die again as a result of that. But I think there's at least a ton of enemies all the time. So let's put this here. to make some changes. Oh, wait, I did not mean to go all the way back here. Okay. Extractor, do I have any money? I don't think so. I have this. <clears throat> New component has been extracted. The disruptor makes your attacks interfere with enemy. Oh, this is slow. Huh. Would that have made a difference in the last one? I don't think... Well, I guess it depends on how much it slows them, but... Um, I don't think that would have really saved me. I think my guns are just failing to kill things as they run by. So, let's go back. Make a slowing tower. Right now, I'm making, like, really expensive towers, and I'm wondering if maybe that's part of the issue. But... Oh, where's the... Uh, is it one of these parts? Um, let's go back. The dis 
disruptor makes attacks. Uh, zero thirty. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, look, this gives you more details. For every second on the, the laser fires on a single charge, it increases its damage. One tower modifier. So, what are some of the changes I can make here? What if I were to make this? This is where it is. So this makes it slow enemies. I don't really know if I like the slow on this though, because like it is good because it deals AoE damage, but it doesn't fire very frequently. like a 10% increase in the radius. Hmm. There's probably a breakpoint here where like upgrading it a certain number of times would make it hit you know, enemies in the next pile over or something like that. Or maybe it's not the uh, discrete, maybe it's just actually measuring distance in like some unit. But I'm not sure what the best thing to do here is. So that reduces the recharge by 1.25 when it's 10, so that's 1 eighth. But this increases the damage by 10%, 15%. This increases the slow. I'm not really sure what the best option is here. I think that the damage is not because one damage upgrade, like, um, more than doubles this, so it's probably increasing the, I don't know how big the radius is, it would be nice to have, like, a way of doing, I guess I could just spawn a bunch of enemies and see which ones take damage, but let's try that. So like if I take nothing but this, and then I spawn a ton of waves all at once. I just spawn all these like little guys. squares away, right? Let's see. Hmm. So it was like from here to here. That's a radius of two. Oh, I don't hear that. 
through. Okay. So let's do this again. So we hit here and it blasts them over here. So it's about one full square. Square. Honestly, that's not that great. It's doing 20 damage in that square. Right. So, what if I were to instead just maximize the rate at which you fire? hit like within the same square. Right? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, I mean, the it did make a bit of a difference to increase the area, but I don't know if I would want to give up this fire rate for it. I feel like the fire rate is better. What is it called? The little crawler blaster. Oops, what have I done? Huh? Little crawler blaster. And it slows, which I guess is good. But what happens? How much does this slow? Get a big enemy. Pretty good slow. Pretty powerful slow. It doesn't last very long. Just a double liberation of the slow. Which is causing the enemies to overlap, right? And that's what I would want. Although the enemies overlapping is only useful if I have like AoE damage further down the line, and then it would stack them up for me. Um, I do still think this is better than what I had before, though. And let's see. This laser beam. This slow. That increases the cost by 30, right? for that one and this one so far I feel like this is my best turret the additional projectiles are pretty good back. Uh, I'll give it one more try, and if I can't succeed, then I'll probably go back and try to uh, collect some more of these tokens so that I can get more upgrades. I uh, already saw this. If I remember correctly, the enemies go this way, up, and then like this way, up, around, this way, back around, and then back down, or something like that. So, let's start with this gun again. I feel like putting it here has not really helped me out. Maybe I should put it here instead. See what happens.
Maybe part of the problem is that I'm letting them stack up too much. Like, I thought it would be good to do that, because then the, the little crawler blaster could deal, like, lots of AOE damage, but it doesn't seem to be working out the way I had hoped. I really do need to do this though, I feel like this is pretty important, because it's like a lot of extra money. Now I can get a second one. This has one of those regenerating guys, which is maybe part of the problem as well, if they're healing up because of that. Okay, so I got all my money. That gave me an extra 90, right? Which is like half of one of these towers. So I definitely don't want to miss out on that. Uh, I probably want to build, I don't know, one of these AoE towers now. getting through now, which is good. And I'm getting all this extra money. Although these healing guys are kind of concerning. Okay. Yeah, this healing guy is super annoying. I took him out, but I think it's definitely going to put him out. Alright. I think I'm doing better than last time. I'm honestly not 100% sure. But I do want to increase the damage of the AoE tower. Um, well, increasing it again is way too expensive. It also doesn't double the damage anymore. So I think at this point it is more efficient to build a second one. Although I probably want to upgrade these now, the damage. Oh man, that healing one is so fun. Every time that healing one shows up, stuff gets out. So, I do need to figure something out for how to defeat those. But it looks like things are not leaking anymore, so that's good. Okay, so I'll money. One more to upgrade. Go. Now it makes more sense to build a new tower because the second level upgrades give you less stats for what I'm spending than just uh, buying the second tower. And I'm, I haven't really been keeping track of how often I've done this. I feel like I've done it like six or seven times though. So this is probably like necessary to be able to beat the level. Um, because, yeah, I would have like one less tower or one less upgrade if I had not been doing that. So let's build another one of these. I want to offset it a little bit from this other one just so that they're not both firing at the same target, hopefully. And there's probably ways to like release these waves at certain times so that you get um, overlap in a way that's beneficial, right? But I have not been paying close enough attention yet to be able to do something like that. Also, like, there's some of these boss guys coming at me. Those guys are a little scary. Although I think uh, I'm probably okay. Like, I'm pretty sure everything can get through and I would still survive. Um, I do want to go back and try to get a perfect leader, but 
For now, I just want to get through so I can unlock as much stuff as possible. Which, uh... Sometimes I don't know what the what other people tend to do, but I know some people like to play the level until they get the perfect on the first try. Um, I used to do that, but um, it usually would actually just make me feel a little frustrated because I felt like I was just banging my head against the wall. So playing this way, I feel like a little more uh, relaxing. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Did I get anything new? I got two of these. Um, this had scatter bombs and two upgrades. That's a pretty significant jump. Hmm. And I, I'm not really a huge fan of these. Like they give you, I feel like this one's probably good. The detector, the generator. It's like slightly cheaper than most of the upgrades. It only adds like 49 to the cost to give you one extra upgrade. But I don't know if that's really worth it. Um, hmm. I have to think about it. So how many levels do I have left? I have one, two, three, four levels left. And I do want to go back and like get good scores on everything. So I think I'll keep going a little bit. Hopefully, um, don't forget that you can design towers on the fly during the level. Oh, I did not know that. Interesting. If you leave slots open in your inventory. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure I would need to do that, because I could just prepare ahead of time. But I guess maybe if you don't know exactly how they're all going to gonna path, then that could be useful. These are like super tiny heads. That's kind of scary. But uh, I'm gonna see if I can finish the levels because then next time I'd like to go and try to get all the missing tokens. This is crazy. Why are these people just walking, letting me kill them? Why don't they stop? Are they also trapped like me? Did, did you do this to them? Of course not, they are free to do as they wish. As a matter of fact, little one, we waited for millennia for unanimous agreement. Not a single one of our people remain unconvinced that this is the best course for us. I feel so strange, I, I can't think about this right. I should feel bad, I know I should, but I can't. It's like part of me is gone, what am I? What are you making me into? Why can't I? The process is still acclimating your mind, honey. Those feelings will pass. I don't want them to pass. I want to feel my emotions and remain the person I am. You're killing me! No, not killing you, changing you. I'm so sorry it is frightening, but once the process is done, you will be so much more than what you could have been alone. You will be greater than any of us. I don't care about that. I won't be me anymore. The next phase begins. Snap. Dang, that's disturbing. They're like turning him into a weapon or something. Like a caterpillar. <laughs> All right, so they're just gonna go around. That is straightforward enough. Let's see. So this might be the best spot. This one hits like the eight tiles around, seven tiles around it, and then like a tiny bit into these other two. This one hits six tiles around it and like a little bit into those. I think that this is probably better. I think this is better. I don't know if it'll reach that little area there. And the range for the tower seems to be very similar, or maybe even the same. So let's start with that. And uh, I mean, the first wave is just normal looking dudes, so I think we can just start with that. We'll be okay. get my extra money. These are the tanky ones, right? I don't know if I do enough damage to kill them. Without a second gun. Hopefully I get enough money for that before they escape. I think I should... Looks like I will. 
Actually, it looks like it might be able to just take care of that. So I will build the second one. Starting. It looks like this gun did fire at one of them that was like moving over that way. So that's good. That's gonna sneak a little tiny bit of extra damage in. Why does this one have a spinning white thing on this one? Oh, that's the one I have selected. I see. That makes sense. So. Are these guys gonna escape? They are not. I think the next. The little. Annoying dudes, the little tiny crawly dudes are gonna come out soon. So I think I do want to make sure I buy an explodey tire before that happens. Skip that. Right here. That should deal with most of them, hopefully. Yeah, that's been great. Has like a double. Oh no, this one's a wave of the crawly dudes and then like super crawly dudes. Can I enter this? A tiny bit more. I'm not sure which one is the best one to upgrade, to be honest. I think it's probably this one. Oh. Oh my god, they're glowing. A small, efficient terrestrial exemplar. Oh, I see. On impact, that means when they get to my tower, they deal extra damage. So those guys hit me harder if they reach me. Makes sense. But uh, I don't think they will. They got kind of wiped out, to be honest. This, this tower did really good on them. Okay, let's grab the extra money. Now I want to start upgrading these. Let me upgrade this one first. Here. <laughs> I think one enemy got through, which is unfortunate. Here we come. Oh, this thing is great because. Actually, I don't think any of these will get through, but if they will, then it would have been better for me to just go to yeah, it's terrible. So this is the last bit that I can get there. I have noticed that when you send the final wave early, it seems to send new waves, which is not great. But that's okay. All right, got him. Now I can get another upgrade, and I think I get this. The Corruptor adds damage over time to your attacks. Oh, it's poison damage. I see. Nice. Hmm. So this is dealing plus 0.015 damage per second. Is this per hit? I'm gonna test that. If this is per hit, that's gonna be really good on the laser, because I assume the laser does lots of little hits. Um, I don't know these. Really, I still don't really feel like upgrading the core gets me anything. Well, the detector does, but for now, I'd still rather just get these upgrades. The advanced bomber. All right. So let's go back. That simulator thing with the laser. If the laser beam can apply like a ton of stacks of poison, then it's gonna be insanely good. The big pointy death beam. Looks like it doesn't properly load the components, but that's fine. And if this is gonna be a poison thing, I don't actually need it to do damage, right? So I don't actually care 
if it does damage. It doesn't seem to increase the damage. What does that get me? I'm not sure what that is. Um, so that just gives me more modifiers? That gives me three. And if I switch to the blue one, I get... Yeah, so that just gives me more modifiers. But what I want to see is if this deals... Rock damage. I don't know if this stacks. This is probably, like, not stacking. See that. Um, so what I would want is to make it so that this double poison damage is pretty good. And I want to reduce the firing delay and also increase the amount of time it's firing for. Right. So let's see if that does what I think it does. Big tanky person over here. Both guys, yeah. Okay, so what I want to see is this thing taking more and more raw damage. So is it me or is this thing like ramping up way faster now that I don't have those upgrades on it? It's kind of weird. Oops. Uh, what I want is an elite. Elite enemy. Like a big beefy guy. Yeah, like this thing. I'm not sure, I don't think it's stacking, because I think that if it was, like it looks to me like that laser beam is doing lots of quick hits, but maybe it's not doing hits at all, maybe it's just draining their HP. Um, but we'll see. I think it's probably not doing what I want, which is like stacking, putting tons of little poison stacks on it. I feel so strange. Brother, the energy from these people, it fuels me, but it feels crowded. You're always so perceptive, little one. Our people are gathering inside of you. Their sacrifices, finding them a place in what will come. However, they remain whole within you, easily accessed. The dead, why are they doing this? It can't be better than being alive in themselves, having the freedom of space and the, vir and the virtual having lives. They aren't even conscious anymore. I can feel that much. They wait for you to complete your task, honey. They have entrusted everything onto you. What is my task? Why won't you tell me what this is for? I'm not authorized to tell you, little one. I'm sorry. This is the process. We think it has happened before, but regardless, it is the path we have chosen to walk now. That doesn't tell me anything, brother. Ask father. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it seems like they're trying to turn me into something, I guess. So they go around each square twice. Or once, rather. And then they continue along their way. So, that's the case. It doesn't really matter where I put these as long as it's like in the corner, essentially. Uh, if I put it here. Here. Mm -hmm. This is fine. What's coming out first? These normal dudes, and then the, the quick ones. Those are a little fast, I don't know if those. So we'll 
start with this. Start it. Um, hopefully I get enough money for another tower before they spawn, otherwise I might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna catch up to the other wave. That's not good. Oh, but they go around twice. So I'm probably okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Here come the little ones. Little crawly boys. Yeah, I think we should be fine. Maybe. Maybe not. Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> They're pretty fast, obviously. I think I want to put a blaster here. Maybe that'll help take care of the little crawly guys. No, we got through. Terrestrial bulk exemplar. Very tanky guy. Okay, let's see. Can I do something about this? I can build another tower here. So. Play for, let's play this out a bit. Well, I mean, do I care if one guy gets through? I just want to collect all the upgrades, so I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Fine if it gets through. I'm gonna build another gun, so I might as well build this one here so I can take that guy out. Okay. It doesn't look like the big ones are getting through, which is good. convinced that these are that great though. So. Like the poison damage will add up eventually over time. But it's just have so much HP. It's just like an absurd amount. Oh, looks like someone did get through actually. Yeah, that's definitely going to do a lot of damage to me probably. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
don't regenerate, do they? No. They're just big. They're probably not going to be able to finish it off. Plus 200 HP. So, yeah, they're going to get out. Uh, either way, I should be fine unless these guys deal like a billion damage. I can sell some of these now. Since uh, it's the end of the level. That to buy some more towers over here. So slow. You know, one thing I haven't been doing is I think I've just been placing these uh, AOE towers wherever instead of placing them so that they benefit the other towers by slowing things. So that's also a mistake on my part. Okay. Let's see what I got this time. Nope, oh, wrong, wrong place. for the weapon, but my powers are already so expensive, like, what does adding an extra mod do? I guess we can check. Oh, well, like, if I were to add an extra mod to one of the towers, let's like say the little crawler blaster, This is. And I want it to slow. And so I want this, and I want to make it my slow things longer. I want it to fire more quickly. Just increasing this further to more scatter bombs. See what that looks like. So, just send a bunch of waves, send a bunch of stuff from level 5. If the scatter bombs deal as much damage as the main projectile, then that's really good. It's basically a free upgrade. Okay. I just one shot that guy. I think it might deal the same damage as the main projectile. Or half maybe. Hard to tell. like more than one turret interesting I did not know you could do this pretty good
That's interesting. We can add extra guns onto it. And they both fire independently. So what if I get rid of that? And just add slowing to this? Because like the having a second gun is better than reducing the recharge time, right? Because like it's gonna fire twice as often a bit. Well, not twice as often, though, like for twice as much damage. It's pretty crazy. I mean, I'll definitely keep that. I wonder if I can do some other things as well. This one though? Cause it's like now this fires five projectiles? The nice thing is it can take out two of those little guys at a time. Yeah, I mean that's pretty good better than what I had before. And so then what happens if I upgrade this one to have a second attack? Could I instead do like poison and this stuff? So I'm like poisoning and rotting enemies. Death Beam has not really been a big player in this anyways. So the the two upgrades here though are really good. Although now I'm wondering if I could maybe not even play turrets because they're too expensive. I can add another tower though, right? Yeah. I need to make a cheaper tower to start with. Also this thing is not even like a triple pea shooter anymore. It's like a I don't even know what, shooting a ton of things. <clears throat> hmm. Looks like uh, sometimes it does not load them properly. I'll get rid of Big Pointy Death Beam because I don't really like it. Brother, I've been taught a lot about our culture. So much is based on freedoms, on consent. But you, all of you, have stolen mine. Why? Why not build some automaton? Why do this to me? Actually, your feelings and free will are foundational to this entire system. It was we who had no choice. You will understand once you get a bit further along, honey. You had no choice. No choice? I don't believe you. Liar. I was made for this, wasn't I? A flesh birth, first in millennia, raised so, so carefully. I was never more than a component being prepared for use for this machine. Little one, no, no, we love you, we... Liar, don't try to... You heartless machines have lost everything that made you. No, that makes me human. And now you are shredding me, tearing away the things that, that make me more than you. You do not understand. I wish you could see what I do, but it's too little, too soon, little one, too soon. Let's, let's just proceed. Am I the mastermind? Okay, so they go around. They probably go around each square once. So uh, these are the good spots to put things. I don't have enough money. So I do need to make a cheaper tower. And 
I suppose we will just make it... What are we starting with here? It's a bunch of wool guys. So let's do this. And do this. Do this. That's already too expensive. Cheaper. Um, do I need slow on this? This is just a temporary tower, so I don't care about the slow. Um, I do want extra projectiles and some extra reload speed. Okay, so that'll give me something I can make. This is the baby pea shooter now. Uh, the problem is I don't really want to put it there because that's where I want my good tower to go. So maybe I'll put it over here. And then I can put the really powerful tower there. Oh, you know, I probably could have laid my expensive tower if I had just done this. Oh, and all the little things. Oh, one of them is going to get through, isn't it? Yep. Oh, that's alright. Okay. I want to get the, uh, the super gun up. This thing should just melt stuff, right? This should do a lot of damage. Terrestrial Accelerator Avatar. It boosts the speed of nearby enemies. Oh wow, it makes them way faster. Or that's just like a particle effect? I don't know, that's pretty fast. Okay, last one. How many points do I have? Two? 
I think I have most of the upgrades anyways. I wonder what if this does anything extra to them. Like, does it add an extra... Oh, I see. It does say that in the description. I just didn't see it. So this isn't like the number of upgrade points you get from it. It's like the number of attacks it can have. So you can build a tower with four guns on it. Um, I guess this is the number of things you can configure at once, maybe? Okay. So we can. Um, I'm gonna start with 400 on that one, so I can use the powerful gun right off the bat. Let's see what horrific things I discover now. All right, little one. Father and I have spoken. It is time. I have to say goodbye. I love you, little one. Liar, you do not. Wait, where are you going? Are you just going to abandon me like this? No, little one, you will understand soon. The last thing I would ever do is abandon you. Right, of course. This is what love is to you, isn't it? Wait. Wait, don't- you don't mean- It's my turn, little one. My knowledge of the process, all of this, once you integrate it. My death will be a turning point for you. You can't be serious. Brother, no, don't do this. Just tell me. You don't have to. This is the way it is going to be, little one. Father, we have planned it all. I wish you the best. I'm starting the next phase now. Okay, so each of those people is gonna be like a boss, I guess. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go around. So, yeah, I think this is the best spot. And what am I fighting first? These guys? <clears throat> I would like to start with the blaster, but I think it's probably safer to start. And then I can put like the cannon here on another shooter there. So, there we go. Here we come. Big old termite or something. 
The avatar of your brother, a slow but high health colossus. Impact will result in immediate failure. Like he has 4,000 HP. Okay. So, what's up here, dude? Oh my god, he has so much HP. He's almost dead though, with half HP. I don't think he'll get through. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna get there. Okay. Well, that was good. I uh, like that you can customize the towers, and uh, yeah, I mean it's a uh, it's a pretty fun game. The aesthetic is definitely like uh, super creepy, which in a, like a way that I think is cool though. It's not like you know a bad thing. The story's pretty dark, I guess, and you're um, being held prisoner for some reason. I'm not exactly sure what. The tutorial doesn't quite go that far. Oh, I see. And then, so this is like brother and presumably sister and then mom and dad or something. Or dad and mom. So, did I unlock anything here? New components have been extracted. Satellite interlock. Alters tower attacks to become devastating orbital bombardments. Which must be manually triggered and aimed. Interesting. So it adds 25 damage, 25, 20 firing delay. Reactivity. Power. Huh. That's cool. So it lets you like manually do some of this stuff. This last upgrade. Okay, I think I have everything you can get right now. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, probably end it here for the day, but I do want to go back and try to get some of these like extra tokens just because, um, yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't do them earlier and uh, I the limit for most of them seems be roughly the same regardless of the level so other than the tutorial like you definitely benefit from coming back later just because you have more parts and stuff um, but yeah i'll do that next time and thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you think the game looks good or you like tower defense you know any of those things uh, definitely check out their steam page and wishlist it I added a link in the description. And thanks for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye.